presidential election is just over three weeks away now, and candidates are making their pitches to voters ahead of November 8th. CBS 42 State Capitol reporter Maddie Beer Temple caught up with the Libertarian candidate hoping to earn your vote in a unique way. For the first time since 2002, Libertarians are on the ballot in Alabama, and their gubernatorial candidate is taking it to the streets to meet with voters. Jimmy Blake is biking across Alabama, stopping in towns along the way to talk to voters. I'm 71 years old, and I'm still active. That's what we really ought to do. If people want to be healthy, I think having political officials, instead of handing out cash, show people how to live. The physician and former Birmingham City Councilman wants people to have a different choice outside of red or blue. If elected, he says he'd prioritize more market forces in education, lowering state spending, freezing government hiring, and lowering taxes. How many people out there feel like they're getting their, gov their money's worth out of that? I think most people don't, and if they don't, then they need to start thinking about a different approach. Blake acknowledges his party won't have the same backing as Republicans or Democrats, but the goal is staying on the ballot. I'm confident that we will retain ballot access. That'll give us the same kind of head start that the Democrats and Republicans do to get organized, recruit candidates, and raise the money that is necessary. Blake will be up against incumbent Governor Kay Ivey. In a statement, she touted low unemployment, infrastructure investments, and record funding for schools, saying, quote, the best is yet to come. Democratic candidate Yolanda Flowers was not immediately available for an interview. Political analyst Steve Flowers estimates the Libertarian candidates will get between 2 to 3 percent of the vote. If the Libertarian was not running, Jimmy Blake was not running, uh, she'd get 63, but she gets 60, 40. Flower says Blake does have some name ID, though. That could help him. No, he's a colorful character. I think I think Blake has is, is got some name identification and he's such a colorful person uh, historically and currently that he'll, he'll notch a couple of percentage points. He'll get the maximum libertarians can get. Now, this morning, Blake was on his way to Tuskegee, and he plans to finish up in Birmingham on October 28th. In Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.